Hi everyone, uh, welcome to uh, another table talk. Uh, today I just wanted to do a bit of a bit more of an in-depth uh, review on the uh, Gemfan uh, 6045 carbon nylon prop as uh, recommended me to me by uh, RC Plane Pirate. Uh, if you've been watching my videos, I've, uh, I've field tested this with uh, three different motors which I'm going to talk about already and uh, you know I've been uh, raving about how great it is for uh, motors between um, uh, 2200 and 2600 uh, kV which is what I've tested it with. I've also tested it with um, a couple of RC timer uh, quad racing motors uh, 2306, 2650 and the 2205, 2550 I believe. Um, I haven't like, f uh, field tested those. I, I do find that those motors, they're, they're good motors but I do find that they do lack a little bit in torque uh, so I'm not sure if they'll spin this prop as well as the uh, the motors that I'm going to discuss. Uh, so just briefly about the prop, um, you get four of them in a pack. Uh, as of the, today's uh, shooting, there it's uh, three three dollars and seventy nine cents uh, for four props, so less than a dollar per prop uh, American. Um, they are you know they are a, a quad racing uh, de de developed for quads. So in the pack of four, you get two. Uh, two of each direction uh, uh, which you know you can use no problem at all in a park jet in my experience you just need to make sure that you know it's always mounted with the numbers facing forward and uh, that it's uh, spinning in the correct direction. Um, the prop itself um, I'm not sure if I can get this ring to come out but the ring uh, you, you need to be a little bit um, careful with the uh, prop ring. Uh, the prop rings don't always fit uh, you know the spacer rings. Uh, let me just let me just dig it out here and so you can see what I mean. Uh, so this is you know the spacer ring that I'm talking about here. Um, when I went to field test with this uh, the 2212-2200, the first flight just before I shot the video, the prop was actually running kind of rough. So I took it off and uh, it was primarily because this ring actually just fell right out. So I ended up finding um, one out of an APC uh, electric prop that fit nice and snug and then the problem was taken care of. So I'm going to have a link down below uh, directly to a video that RC Plane Pirate did a while ago where he discussed balancing uh, KMP props and uh, you know some uh, issues that he's had in the past where these prop rings don't fit that snugly and can cause the prop to either when you put it on they're not aligned uh, perfectly straight on the shaft or they can they can move around a little bit when the prop is spinning. Um, They've, uh, they're actually quite well balanced, surprisingly, for the price. I haven't really had to do a whole lot of uh, balancing with them, either on the, the hub or the uh, blade. So I've been uh, very, very pleased with that. Um, I did find uh, that when I was uh, uh, testing it originally, and this is probably just a little bit ham-fisted on my part, I was, you know, I was grabbing a hold of the, one of these quad racing motors and trying to tighten the thing down, and I must have put a little too much pressure uh, pushing on the blade, um, did the blade snapped essentially right at the hub. Uh, so I was a little bit worried when I started flying with them that you know perhaps it might be a bit brittle. But I've flown in total, I've flown probably a couple of dozen flights with it, and I haven't had any issues. You know, I've been checking it. I haven't seen any chipping or or uh, breaking or cracking or anything. So uh, it's a super stiff prop. Uh, you know, this is the 6x4 APC gas prop, oops, which, <laughs> what, you know, which of course you've heard me rave about and I've already uh, done a review video on this prop. So it's, it's uh, stiffer than this uh, 6x4 APC gas. Uh, it's about the same weight, so it's not, uh, not a heavy prop by any means. Uh, it's a little bit longer, uh, about 3 sixteenths of an inch uh, longer. Uh, again, I'll have more details in a blog post uh, that I wrote on my initial impressions and bench testing with this prop, uh, I'll have that linked uh, down below. Uh, so yeah, so d d you know, for the price, less than a dollar prop, uh, you know, been impressed with uh, with the quality of it thus far. Again, just uh, you know, be careful with the uh, with the spacer ring. But uh, you know, if you watch RC Plane Pirates video, he's got a fairly simple way on uh, to get that uh, snugged up nicely. So I'm not going to go through specifically all the you know watts and amps and all that sort of stuff. What I did was I I, I took all the numbers uh, comparing the performance with uh, on the six x four APC gas and this prop um, from my uh, motor spreadsheet, which again will be linked down below. So if you want to read all those details, you can. But what I did was I sort of just took a bit of uh, uh, percentages um, for three motors, which I was really impressed with the performance so far. So the 
2212, 2200, you know, kind of the park jet workhorse uh, that, uh, you know, a lot of, a lot of people uh, fly and use in park jets. The uh, Racer Star BR2406, uh, 2600, which I think is uh, one of the best value uh, quad racing motors that I've tested thus far. And then uh, most recently I field tested, this is the uh, Multistar Viking 2208-2600. Uh, it's probably the most expensive of all the, or it is the most expensive of all the quad racing motors I've tested thus far, but luckily I've actually been able to get mine on sale. So all of these, uh, all of this is based on uh, bench and uh, field testing on 3S. I don't, I don't fly with 4S or 2S or anything like that. So uh, I tested them. Probably the best performance um, was... Uh, with the 2212, it was a slightly better that with the uh, plush uh, 40 amp speed controller a run on uh, just factory default settings. Um, the uh, you can run the Turnigy AE45 with this motor as well, again on factory default settings. And uh, but you know the difference on the bench was not uh, terrible. That I you know run out and buy a different speed controller just for a few grams of thrust. Um, for these two motors. Uh, I used the custom settings in the uh, Turnigy AE. I got the best performance. Uh, 22 and a half degrees on the timing, 24 kilohertz on the pulse width modulation frequency, which I found <clears throat> through a, a lot of experimenting seems to be the, the best settings with this uh, speed controller. And again, this is, for, you know, it's a, compared to the new plush, the new plush I think is over $24, and this is uh, just under $22, so it's a little bit. Uh, cheaper and uh, more uh, versatile because you have a lot of different settings you can play with. Excuse me. Okay, so the 2200, um, the biggest increase in performance. Uh, now this this motor had probably per, if, if I, taking things in percentage had the biggest uh, increase in performance, but also had the biggest increase in uh, amp draw. Where um, on the bench and in the air, where I noticed the biggest difference was that sort of mid-range throttle, you know, 50 to 75. So at 50% throttle on the bench, it had a 17% increase in thrust uh, with an 18% uh, increase in amps. Uh, at 100% throttle, uh, about a 7.5% increase in thrust. And again, this is based on the 6x4 APC gas prop being sort of the baseline. Um, and uh, about a 14% amp draw. Now it, it's pushing the motor, um, you know, clo close to the limits. Most of these motors, I think, uh, you know, they're 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 kind of clones of the uh, Turnigy 28, 26, 6, 2200, which is, uh, is rated as a 34 amp motor. And it's been my experience that you know, if you run these things up to uh, close to 40, 34 amps, they'll get they'll get a little warm, but you know, they they'll they'll run for a long time. So. Uh, at around, I think it's pulling at around 32 amps with this prop, but it's the first time ever on the bench I've seen a two-blade prop um, produce over a thousand grams of thrust with this uh, with this motor. So really impressed. So on average, uh, you know, averaging the 50% and 100%, uh, it's about a 12 and a quarter percent uh, increase in performance with about a 16% increase in amps. But again. Uh, you know, it, you're pushing the motor. I think you're you're getting everything that this motor can possibly give you uh, using this prop and the and the, the custom settings uh, on that speed controller that I mentioned. Uh, so you know, if you're looking to breathe some life into uh, you know, you've got one of these uh, motors, which I know a lot a lot of folks that fly park jets have. You know, if you're looking to breathe some life uh, into your uh, motor without you know going up to 4s or whatever. Uh, you know, for less than a dollar a prop, it's a it's a pretty good choice to to squeeze some uh, some more performance there. Like I said, I really noticed that the field the day that I field tested it was a bit windy, so I didn't notice uh, uh, it was faster at uh, at top speed, but you know, not anything that really sort of watered my eyes. But what really made me sit up and take notice was the performance at uh, mid range. You know, sort of that fifty seventy percent five percent. Um, throttle range so you know it's flying around faster uh, there in, the, in that range than it would be with the 6x4 APC gas so so pretty good uh, match up there so uh, moving on to the uh, Racer Star uh, 2406 uh, 2600 this is uh, you know been a real um, I've, I've already done a table talk on this motor 
uh, and t talked about this prop a little bit. But uh, this is a really, uh, you know, really has impressed me as one of the best bargain, overall bargain uh, power uh, setups. So uh, on this one, actually, we got a pretty decent improvement in uh, thrust with r really nim uh, minimal uh, increase in amp draw. So at 50% uh, throttle, uh, we got a 5.7, almost a 6% increase in thrust. The amp stayed the same. Uh, at 100% throttle, and this is where I really noticed it with this motor, was we had about 11 and a, uh, we got about 11.5% increase in thrust, uh, and we only drew uh, 3% 3, 3 uh, more amps. So really, you know, staying essentially the same efficiency, but great improvement. So if we average the two out, we're getting uh, about 8.6% increase in thrust with uh, less than 2% increase in amps. So, uh, you know, just, just for the sake of a prop, that's, that's pretty noticeable. And like I said, where I really noticed the difference was at full throttle. It uh, really woke this motor up. Uh, you know, I, as I mentioned when I did the review video of this motor, I, I had been sort of, you know, splitting motors into sort of the thoroughbreds and the workhorses and this had been sort of a workhorse motor uh, but as soon as I put this prop on it, it uh, you know it put itself into the thoroughbred category from from what I've seen so really really uh, good and, and again this is a you know it's a pretty inexpensive motor um, and thus far has been it's got lots of torque and has been running super well for me okay so the Viking Multistar well this is where things really uh, you know this again is a the most expensive motor, um, twenty almost twenty nine dollars uh, full price, but I've been able to get them. Um, I bought two of them. This is actually the second one that I bought. The other, the other one is still in the plane. Um, I picked the first one up for about sixteen dollars, and the second one for twenty one. So if you keep an eye out, you can get them for a pretty uh, pretty reasonable price. And around twenty dollars is sort of where most of the quad racing motors that I've tested are. Um, I know you can get a lot of other motors for a lot cheaper than that. But Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So um, on this one, mid-throttle, uh, we had a 50% uh, or 50%, uh, about a 6.6% uh, increase in thrust with no increase in uh, amps. Um, and then at 100% uh, throttle, 19% uh, <laughs> increase in thrust and, and really, really noticeable. Like it was uh, full throttle, uh, you know, when I when I go back and watch the video where I field tested this, like it really, really is a beast um, with this uh, with this motor and, and prop. Uh, amps, <coughs> pardon me. Amps went up, I think, by one, and I forgot. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, in my rush, I forgot to do the calculation there. But but very again, uh, pretty much minimal. So overall, uh, taking an average of the mid range and the full full throttle. Uh, it's about a 13% uh, increase in performance with essentially no uh, no difference in amp draw and really really efficient. I mean this this is drawing uh, or producing close to 1,200 grams of thrust at full throttle and it's only drawing about 36 amps, which is really really efficient. I think uh, you know when you're looking at amps amps versus uh, thrust. So uh, yeah, so there we go, folks. Um, like I said, the, the extra little bit of pitch, um, I was worried a little bit with, uh, um, you know, that it might affect the uh, whole shot acceleration compared to the 6x4 APC gas. And I think because I got a, we got a, a reasonably good increase of uh, power mid-range, especially with this, uh, with this uh, little bad boy, uh, it, I didn't really notice that, you know. I mean, I'm sure scientifically the prop maybe not doesn't spin up quite as fast, but uh, the power... Excel power and acceleration mid-range, I didn't really notice any difference, but big, big increase in uh, full throttle uh, for these, these two motors, uh, noticeable with this, with this motor. So uh, anyway, this is, um, you know, for me moving forward, uh, this is going to be my uh, uh, go-to prop for motors, uh, you know, 2600 kV, between 2200 and 2600 kV. Uh, really, really impressed, you know, for what you get for the price. Again, um, like I mentioned, just just be careful about the fit of the prop uh, the prop ring, and you know, be careful <laughs> reefing on it because it could, uh, you know, it, it is a very very stiff prop, but it might be a little bit brittle. So if you you know if you try and bend it too much, uh, for whatever reason, uh, it could just uh, snap on you. So uh, keep keep a close eye on that. So there's my review uh, again of the Gemfan uh, 6045 carbon nylon prop. 
on uh, these this selection of uh, quad racing motors compared to the APC gas six by four APC gas prop and on 3S. Uh, very very impressed. And like I said, uh, thanks big thanks to RC Plane Pirate. Uh, please check out uh, the comments down below. I'll have links to all of these uh, motors, props, uh, speed controllers, as well as uh, the link to RC Plane Pirate's video and my uh, motor test spreadsheet if you're interested in the, uh, in the details, the, the, you know, the fine details of uh, the motor vent testing that I did so far. So uh, th thanks very much for watching. Blue skies, calm winds to everyone. Park jet noise, the other sound of freedom, baby. Take care.